All right, so if we look at this and we read through it, um, it says the value of an autographed baseball from 2017 is $300. So right off the bat, I wanna talk about this. So we're gonna write some uh, exponential um, equations. And so um, this is what we call an initial value or initial condition, right? So 300 is an initial value And we'll talk about that in a second. I misspelled initial. I got 15 screens going on at one time. So that's an initial condition. Then the next thing that we need to uh, recognize is the value of the baseball exponentially increases by 5%. That's important. So let's think about that. 5% is our rate, okay? And it's an increase, so it has to be a positive rate, okay? And that'll that'll be important, but it also has to be written as a decimal. So now to write it as a decimal, remember that you start at the five and you go over one, two spaces. 5% is the same as five over 100% per 100, which is equal to 0 0.05. That's really important, okay? each year after 2017, write one variable, a one variable inequality that can solve for the number of years X. So in this case, number of years X is equal to years. Um, it would take for the baseball to be worth at least 650, so at, Least. Now, a lot of students will say least means less than. Well, you really got to think about what it says. At least is, and if you get confused, just pick a number above 650 and a number below and put it in a sentence and see if it makes sense. In other words, um, five is at least 650. No, five is not at least 650. So it can't be less than. A million is at least 650. Yeah, a million is at least 650. Here's another one. 650 is at least 650. So by just thinking that through, I know that whatever expression I write, it's gotta be greater than or equal to 650. How? I could say 650 is at least 650 and it's true. I could say a million is at least 650 and it's true. Now, here's the other issue here. You're going to say one plus the rate, and that's going to be raised to the number of years. And then you're going to have your initial condition here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 300 times one plus the rate, which is 0 0.05, raised to the number of years, because each year you're gonna multiply this, is greater than or equal to 650. And then in this particular case, you can simplify what's inside the parentheses. You could say 300 times 1.05, raised to the x is equal greater than or equal to 650. And that's it. And I'll leave that up there for you to figure